Hello Darts Nuts, I'm going to do a review of a set of um, Target Pro League Tony O'Shea darts. had quite a few requests to review these darts, so here we go. As you can see it comes in a slimline uh, cardboard box with a little window up in the back and the front so you can see the darts. They're a 90% tungsten dart, um, this is the 24 gram version. There's also uh, 22 and 26 gram version as well. And the retail for around £22.99. Inside the box you've got this little uh, catalogue showing you the target range. And on your, the back of that you've got uh, the weight guarantee which says 24.1 and you also have a lifetime barrel guarantee but you have to activate that on the target website and the darts are already assembled inside the box in the foam packaging and you get some target pro grip shafts these look to be they look to be short or extra short and some target provision small standard shape flights so we'll have a close look at the well, darts here's now. the close look at the dart then I'll put the detailed picture up as usual with all the measurements on it's got quite a short silver point um, a very short bull nose to the front of the barrel and the barrel itself is a classic style of barrel very much like the uh, Bristol style just a basic ring grip and there's a smooth section uh, towards the rear with the target logo um, I can't see any player signature on the barrel but never mind um, and at the very rear that last ring goes a little bit thinner but um, they say it's just a, a classic standard shape straight barrel dart with a uniform ring grip it's only your uh, probably about a medium level of grip it's quite a shiny tungsten as well and you've got your target pro grip shafts fitted and your target standard shape or small standard pro vision flights So, with a uh, basic straight barrel dart, should suit pretty much any grip really. All oh, just depends on how you like to grip your dart. I'll probably be gripping it around the front there, but normally any style of grip can work with a straight barrel dart. So, I'll just let you have a look at the dart, then I'll put the detailed picture up. Here's the detailed pitch with all the measurements. Right, here's the detailed look at the darts. It's got a 25mm silver point. Um, there's a kind of a squarish bull nose and about 2.8mm on that first section. And then you go into um, quite a normal standard ring grip with fairly shallow grooves, which is about 34.16mm wide. And then there's a a wider band of about 6.6 millimeters with the target logo and then there's another couple of uh, rings with grooves of about 5.6 millimeters and then there's a small section of about 1.6 millimeters to the rear of the barrel the overall length is 50.7 millimeters and the width is 6.38 millimeters all right I'll just measure the barrels now The barrel length is 50.7 millimeters. Um, the width should be the same all the way through, I think. Uh, I'll just measure that front bit first. That says 
6.39 I would say it's probably about 6.38 uh, you could say approximately 6.4 and the weight of the barrels are that one is 24.15 that is 24.13 and that is 24.13 and the weight of the full setup as supplied is 25.66 I'll just see if I can find the balance point should be somewhere near the middle with it being a straight barrel dart should be evenly weighted um, just about there actually so just slightly front of centre and with the supplied setup pretty much in the middle with the supplied setup so that's the close look at the darts like I said it's a classic straight barrel dart um, it's a good start a, a good dart to start with for a lot of beginners really I always think uh, starting with a straight barrel basic ring grip is a good dart to go with and as you can see a lot of players still use uh, straight barrel darts with a similar style of grip because it it's just tried and tested and it works so that's the darts let's have a throw and see how they go I'm just on the barrel pretty close to the uh, nose just around about there um, the dart itself seems to be flying fairly well not really noticing too much problems in the flight the only problem I do have is uh, the point is a little bit shorter than what I prefer could do with just being maybe a few millimeters, lo millimeters longer because I like to rest that finger on the end and it's slipping off just as I'm about to release it so it's kind of a little bit off putting but that's just more personal to me and it's not really a problem with the dart as such but one thing I have noticed is uh, the grip on the dart well, I think it's the tungsten itself and not the actual physical grip on the barrel it actually feels really grippy um, it just seems to have like a sticky feeling as if it's like sticking to my skin and it's not especially deep on the grooves so I think it's just the feel of the tungsten and it is quite a shy tungsten so whether that is anything to do with it I don't know but anyway I'm just gonna have a few more throws from there then I'll try the middle and I'll try the rear Right, I'll just have a throw from the uh, centre just to see how it feels and then I'll have a go from the rear section. Mm -hmm. 
it's quite nicely balanced there. I'll give it another go. It's not my natural grip, but let's see what happens. It's uh, flying quite well from that centre grip. Obviously, if it was my natural grip, I'd probably get on with it better. I'll try that rear section. There's quite a wide, smooth band there on the rear, but like I said, that tungsten has a kind of a, a sticky feel to it. So I'll try from there now. That does feel very weird for me throwing it from there, but I think that was more of a fluke that I'll give it one more go. Again, it's not too bad, but like I say, it's not my natural grip, so it's probably quite a versatile dart. Dart. It's more straight barrel darts are pretty good for all kinds of grips really but uh, I'll just go back to my front grip now. Well, right, that's the uh, Target Tony O'Shea darts. Um, it's quite a nicely balanced dart for uh, various grips, and uh, I quite like the feel of the tungsten of these. It has a, a kind of a sticky, grippy kind of a feel to them. Um, the only thing I would change personally for me is maybe slightly longer points and probably tweeny or medium stems. I think these are only short. But well, other than that, it's a pretty nice start actually. The uh, physical grip on the barrel is only probably just a, a medium, low medium, but because to me the tungsten kind of feels grippy, I'd probably rate it as a high medium overall. But it may depend on your own natural oils and your skin and if you sweat too much then you may find the opposite, you may find it a little bit too slippy because it is quite a shiny tungsten but for me it tends to grip more so it's probably more of a personal thing to me but it's a quite a nice start really so that's the end of the review thanks for watching